Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks have re-signed center Brandon Sutter. I'm Canuck Clay, I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Wednesday, July the 28th. Subscribe now for Canucks Insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. I have a feeling this is going to be the first of many vlogs today, but that's okay. It's free agency day, about a month later than usual, but we knew that the Canucks were ready for this day, ready for a lot of things by clearing up a lot of cap space over the past couple of days. I talked about $26 million of cap space basically that they, they'll have most of that, at least half of that going to Elias Pettersson and Quinn Hughes. But by clearing up this money, they are ready to dabble in the market today. And they are also, um, they built a wall basically to, to fend off any potential offer sheet to Elias Pettersson. We'll get into those pro topics later throughout the day. But for now, let's talk about the rumor, Thomas Drance, Bob McKenzie, others confirming Brandon Sutter, coming back to the Vancouver Canucks at $1.125 million for a year. Yes, that's a far cry from the $4 million or so he made last year, but yes, $1.125 for one year. Brandon Sutter brings a lot to this team, and uniquely, he, he's uniquely situated to, to be you know, a top-pairing penalty killer and also our only right-shot face-off man. So, in, they changed the rules a couple of years ago where you can actually cha uh, choose on an offensive zone face-off. Uh, certain times you can actually choose what side uh, you want to take your, your draw on. So, um, you know, that's... Brandon Sutter is usually not taking offensive zone draws, but still, it's uh, it's important whether it's in the offensive zone or the defensive zone to have at least a guy who can who can go on both sides. Um, because Horvat, Pedersen, uh, uh, Miller... And, and Jason Dickinson, all left shot guys. So right shot, Brandon Sutter, for, yeah, or our only right shot faceoff man, and of course a staple on the penalty kill. With Brandon Sutter, you don't worry too much about his offense because that's not his game. His game, as I've said before, is defense, is penalty killing, is leadership, is faceoffs, and those are things that he's going to bring to our team as part of the fourth line and at $3 million cheaper than last season. That can't be understated that is such uh an important part of this deal and it, it's in it, it's good it, it just shows you how much brandon sutter want to stay here because i'm sure i'm sure he could have got more than 1.125 on the open market but uh, obviously he like many of us like what B jim benning has done like the way the team is going and want to be a part of it and sutter's been here for a few years now uh, getting traded here and then signing a contract extension. So he's been here and he's one of the veterans of the team for sure. So that's what he kind of brings on the ice and of course off the ice. Really good with the media. Really friendly. I, I've spoken about both of the golf tournaments I volunteered at. Really likable actually uh, and uh, soft-spoken soft but uh, um, still very engaging. So I, I like Sutter as a person. I know the team. I know Travis Green loves him. He lo loves his versatility. And it shouldn't be a surprise. You know, I was a little bit surprised when Jim Benning hinted that he was having talks with Brandon Sutter. And then I was saying, well, why would you do that, right? And then we find out that he was also working on the Jay Beagle, the, well, it wasn't the Jay Beagle deal, the deal that Jay Beagle was in, going to Arizona for Erickson and Garland, that, that massive deal from last week. So now it makes sense that Jim Benning was talking to Brandon Sutter because he still had his eye on him coming back as a fourth line center. With Brandon Sutter coming back, you could say our top 12 is now set, although I'm sure there's nothing wrong with tinkering or seeing if a better deal comes along or a way to upgrade. But we've been talking about the top nine going to be very strong with the additions of Garland and Dickinson. So now you could have Pedersen with Miller and Besser as your top line. Horvat, for now, let's say Garland and Hoglander as your second line. Podkolzin and Pearson around Dickinson on your third line. And now your fourth line is set with Sutter and Mott. They play well together. Actually, Beagle and Mott play more together, but Sutter, Mott, and one of Highmore or McEwen. And there's your top 12 right there. Pretty good, especially in the top nine. Falls off a bit in the bottom, you know, the fourth line, but still a decent top 12 for sure. Way stronger than last season. And now the Canucks can focus on D, which I'll get to in a second. Penalty killing, let's talk about that too. Last season, it was Brandon Sutter, it was Jay Beagle, it was Tyler Mott, and then, and then Louis Erickson when he's in the lineup. This year, losing, obviously, uh, oh, sorry, last year it was it was Sutter, Beagle, um, Mott and then one of Roussel or Erickson with Roussel, Erickson, Beagle all gone. We need guys to fill those spots. So Jason Dickinson would be one of them. And I'm really glad that uh, Sutter's back to fill that role as well. So now you have Dickinson and Sutter as centers on each of the two penalty killing units. Tyler Mott will be on one of them. And luckily one of Matthew Highmore, Tanner Pearson, 
uh, and sometimes even JT Miller takes some some um, you know some minutes there as well. So that that should be another uh, thing to look on. Another advantage to having Brandon Sutter back. So Brandon Sutter back one year, one point one two five million dollars. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of that signing. Some other things that they're hearing the Canucks working on, and maybe these will break in the next 15, 20 minutes as we get closer to 9 o'clock. Yaroslav Halak looking to be our backup goaltender. Kevin Weeks reported it will be $3 million, but it will be 1.5 in salary uh, and 1.5 in performance bonus. Performance bonus, if they're not met, um, you know, I mean, if they are met, they, they count against the cap, but you can defer um, some of it, or you can be basically over the cap by 7.5%. Um, but only for performance bonuses only. So um, we'll see. We'll see. And uh, Halak has earned that because he's over 35 years old. But we'll talk about Halak once that's made official. But that's one thing the Canucks are working on, a backup goalie. You know, they're obviously they're working on the fourth line center, which they've done, and then one or two uh, right shot defensemen. Word is they've circled back on Travis Hamnick. And then there's also the rumor of Luke Shen from two two days ago. So I still think you need one more defenseman. I, I would want Shen to be my extra on the right side as opposed to the third pairing right side. But if he comes into 800 grand, maybe that's what you expect. Or maybe you shouldn't expect much. But, you know, I, Myers, Hamnick, someone else, Shen, sounds better than Myers, Hamnick, Shen. And something else, if, if you know what I mean. So I would love to see Shen get bumped, but we'll see. Beggars can't be choosers, and we'll see what happens there. So again, with the Canucks signing Brandon Sutter, they still want a backup goalie, rumored to be Halak, and then two right shot defensemen. And of course, Hughes, Pedersen, Ulevi, all and Dickinson all need to be signed as well. But from a free agent standpoint, you're looking at a goalie still and two defensemen. Well, hey, Canucks fans, other thing is my channel is growing like crazy. Got 300 subscribers over the past two or three days. So it looks like I'll hit 7,000 subscribers today, which is awesome. I'm going to release a video later tonight on my 7,000 subscriber giveaway. I think you'll, you'll want to see this. I'm going to defer the Canuck ticket giveaway to a little bit later um, in the fall. But I think you'll really be happy with this one. This I'd say this uh, giveaway is more practical and might be even better, um, you know, more appealing for some of you. So look for that video to drop sometime tonight. Uh, with a channel update as well. So Canucks fans, leave a comment specifically now on the Brandon Sutter deal, or if you want to talk about what else you think Jim Benning has in mind for today, would love to get your reaction and read reaction reply as best as I can. Shout out to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Justin Credible, Nux, Ma Nux fan number 29, Lucas Gates, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shea Family Channel, Jamie Sports Talkamore, Shannon Hollingworth, and Andrew Chang. Thanks for your support as always, and thanks for the support of all members of all levels. You are listed in my video descriptions. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button. Press the join button underneath this or any of my videos on the memberships tab on my YouTube channel. Might not do all that Hall of Fame shout out member invitation in the rest of my videos today just to keep them more concise, but you guys know I appreciate you nonetheless. Okay, subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to become a member of the channel. If you like to, leave a comment if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Enjoy free agent frenzy. God bless and go Canucks go.